uh, when I first heard about Hikino uh, 10 years ago, uh, or I have to recollect that, but it was a very much a, a program that kind of gave me a voice and I was very much shocked like, wow, they're going to trust us with creating videos and airing it on TV for people to see. And that was, that was a very large honor to me and a, and a huge privilege for us to even have that uh, avenue uh, of being able to voice our opinion. My name is uh, Papa Uti. I'm a junior attending Kapolei High School on the day of March 19, 2009, my freshman year. Uh, I got into what you call a freak accident. During a game of pickup football, Papu suffered a devastating blow to his left leg. The left foot that he planted in the mud was injured when he was tackled. The extent of the injury caused that leg to become amputated. I think the closest that we ever got to being able to do that was just sharing videos at school. But on a larger uh, scale, being able to share, like, you know, uh, tell my parents, hey, my video is going to show on PBS. Like, hey, let's go, let's go watch it. And them also being very proud of that uh, a moment in time that we can kind of celebrate this it was it was exhilarating to have been a part of the experience one trend we saw in the first season of hikino was stories about different factions of a community coming together to solve a problem coincidentally two such stories centered around football one dealt with building a place to play the other dealt with the lights needed to play at night we go first to the windward side of oahu for field of dreams by the students of kalaheo it was and a, a place that we could actually be taken seriously and as much as we can uh, learn from the process. And that's what I, I really appreciated with this opportunity and, and, and being able to have the interaction with our mentor and uh, alongside with my uh, teacher, uh, my digital media teacher, and this whole synergetic relationship, just making sure that there's all of these avenues or, or uh, people to go through in order to make sure that this pro this story gets across and we can actually do something with it. My real name, first of all, is Theodore Kamuela Cassisan. And uh, my stage name from what I started with was actually when I was in middle school, I was 15. And I started with uh, James Cole's United DJs and Musical Youth of Hawaii, which is a nonprofit organization. And he gave me the, the stage name Lil Homie TC. But now I just go by TC because I dropped the Lil Homie. Uh, so in New Hope Leeward, I am the broadcast media uh, lead for the entire campus and uh, the entire church as a whole. I believe my exposure through Hikino and that whole uh, uh, experience in and of itself was very much a, a precursor or a foreshadowing of where I am today. To see myself get called into this and, and see my my very drive and passion in video be used for this calling, it, it really have this sense of fulfillment and satisfaction that I, it all was working towards a purpose. 